It is hard to believe that we are already on part 7 of this series. By the time Elder Scrolls 6 actually releases, we're going to be on part 500 or something like that. But anyway, welcome back to things we would like to see in the Elder Scrolls 6, a series where we discuss things we would really love to see through your own suggestions on my Discord and the comments below. This series is going really strong recently and I'm really excited to continue it on, so let me know in the comments what you would like to see in the next instalment of The Elder Scrolls. Or consider joining our Discord where you can discuss The Elder Scrolls games and suggest video ideas to me, talk about plenty of other games and so much more. It's also the best way to contact me, we have lots of fun over there so do consider joining us, hit that like button for me to show your support on this series, and anyway let's not waste any more time and get straight into it. And starting off we have Magicka. Magicka in Skyrim sucks, it really does, it becomes pretty much useless once you hit level 10 or so, at least without mods. It's also really simple, I want Bethesda to completely overhaul the magic for the Elder Scrolls 6. I want to see more unique spells, making me really feel like a mage. Imagine a spell that unlocked doors and chests and other containers for you, meaning playing as a mage you'd never need a lockpicks, but you could still use them if you wanted to of course. What about a new spell that allows you to manipulate people? Imagine throwing a spell sneakily on a guard and telling them to open a jail cell for you, or convincing them to hand over all of their coins. There is really so much more Bethesda could be doing with the Magicka system, really bring it back home to these RPG elements, and on top of it, why not add some really unique animations, much like this magic animation here that we can see from the Avowed teaser trailer. I mean this just looks really cool, I love the Doctor Strange vibes here, and I would love to see Magicka animations like this, or something along these lines at least, for The Elder Scrolls 6. It can get quite boring just simply shooting a spell, and a few more unique animations could really up the game for mage playthroughs. In my opinion, a mage is never really a viable build in vanilla Skyrim simply because, as I said earlier, it just becomes really weak and kind of useless once you start to level up. Another change I'd like to see is allowing spells to scale depending on your skill level like scaling with your skill level. There is a mod for Skyrim that does this and it hasn't left my load order in years because it just makes playing a mage that much more viable. More unique spells, more unique animations, just a better Magicka system overall. It's really that simple. And for number 4, I would really love to see more activities in The Elder Scrolls 6. Sure, in Skyrim we can hunt, cut wood, and mine, and do some other basic chores, but Bethesda could really, really expand on that and make it a lot more fun. Take a page out of Red Dead Redemption 2's book for hunting especially. Let us skin animals and store their meat and skins on our mounts. Go a step further and give us a special kind of menu to tell us where we can find certain animals and beasts. Let us know which ones we've killed, which we've seen, and which we've never seen. Go a step further again, and again, like Red Dead Redemption 2, put a few legendary animals around the map. Finding a giant legendary wolf in a random wolf cave in the corner of a map somewhere for a surprising little boss-like fight would be really fun in my opinion. With a system like this we could really spend the entire day hunting without getting bored, and there are so many more activities Bethesda could do for The Elder Scrolls 6. By activities I just mean simply more daily life things. How cool would it be to be able to buy and open up your own store, decorate it however we'd like, and sell things we've found during our adventures, whether it be selling animal skins or unique gems, or armour or weapons, but also add in some smaller activities too of course. Simple things such as taking a bath or showering under a waterfall or in the river. Being able to hold up stores for their coins, seeing other people break the law and being able to stop them. Bounty hunting missions that aren't just go and kill quests and come back. Let me tie the bounty up and bring them to the Jarl or something like that. More immersive fishing, being able to pray to the Nine Divines at their places of worship. Picking one god for our characters to follow and getting some kind of health or stamina bonus, for example, every time we pray to them or do something that they like. Bethesda could really go further with smaller activities in their games. One of the best things about Skyrim is the fact that you can sort of live an entire life in the game, create a daily routine for yourself, and I'd love to see them expand on things like this in The Elder Scrolls 6. 
Unique locations is an absolute must, and yes, of course Skyrim had some very unique locations, but I mean smaller things such as inns and Jarl homes. Every single inn in Skyrim looks exactly the same, with the exception of like four unique ones. And yes, it's important to note Skyrim is a decade old, but it still bugged me. I hated how every location looked the same, had the exact same kind of statues, the exact same kinds of roads, used the exact same texture for wood. I'd love it if Bethesda really upgraded this, if they made every Jarl palace look unique for once. Change the colours slightly of a lot of the roads and buildings, or just the textures in general. It would just make the game look that much more unique, because I think we can all agree that Skyrim does start to look very repetitive after a while. As I said, buildings mostly look the same, interiors mostly look the same a lot of the time. I'd really just love to see Bethesda upgrade this kind of stuff to make the Elder Scrolls 6 look that much more visually stunning. Now more than one region is definitely a big big wish, but it's also extremely possible, with Starfield being set in over a thousand planets and moons in a hundred different solar systems, it isn't exactly wishful thinking, at least not to me, to think that the Elder Scrolls 6 may actually be set across two regions. I think that we can all agree that the Elder Scrolls 6 title reveal slash teaser trailer looked a lot like Hammerfell, but after the Starfield showcase I started to suspect that the game would actually be set in both Hammerfell and High Rock. See, like I said, with Starfield having over a thousand planets and flyable spaceships, I started to wonder if the Elder Scrolls 6 would be set in Hammerfell and High Rock since they are pretty close to each other on the Tamriel map, and we could get drivable or sailable, I guess, boats to sail from one region to another. And it's definitely possible, but the main reason I would love to see two regions is because the long wait between Bethesda games. It will be 2040 or something like that when we see the next Elder Scrolls game, Elder Scrolls 7, so I would love to see as much of Tamriel as possible in the Elder Scrolls 6. And finally at number 1, and I honestly can't believe that we haven't covered this yet, but we have Combat Overhaul. We've spoken about this a little bit before, but obviously Skyrim's combat isn't great. And yes, the game did release over a decade ago, but again, it still wasn't great, even for 2011. I personally believe Fallout 4 has the best combat of any BGS game, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how Bethesda upgrade the combat in The Elder Scrolls 6. We've all seen the new mods coming out for Skyrim that are massively upgrading the combat, like the one I've been using in the background of this video, and there are plenty more that are adding in combat from other games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and they're really good. The problem is it's difficult to have this kind of unique combat in both third and first person. You would have seen in the background footage of this video that when I go into first person it just goes back to regular boring old Skyrim combat. Either way I'm sure Bethesda will figure it out. I definitely 100% believe that we will see a massive combat overhaul in the Elder Scrolls 6 at least compared to Skyrim. Combat in the Elder Scrolls games is definitely something that Bethesda needs to change. But anyway guys that is going to do it for this installment of things we would like to see in the Elder Scrolls 6. Please be sure to give the video a like if you haven't already to help support this series and my channel in general. Consider subscribing so you don't miss out on the next episode. I also cover every single piece of news from Elder Scrolls, Fallout and Starfield or just Bethesda in general, covering news, leaks, speculation and so much more. So if you are interested in that, consider subscribing because we really do cover all of it here. Also remember to let me know in the comments below what you would like to see in the Elder Scrolls 6 and I might use your comment in the next video. Anyway, with all of that said, thank you all so much for watching, and I really hope to see you in the next one.